Guys, welcome to the very first episode of Personal Growth. And I applaud myself because it took me quite a while to get this started. And not to mention, I spent the past two days trying to figure out how to get my uh, Canon 60 Mark II attached, um, not attached, uh, trying to record simultaneously with my microphone and I still haven't figured it out completely. I never thought putting out a podcast would be this th technically difficult, but apparently it is. And there's still a lot to learn. Uh, I'm still figuring out, you know, the setting, the background, just the, uh, my own personal touch on it. Right now, I'm just focused on putting something out because I told myself I was going to upload Thursday and it's literally Thursday, 10.02 a.m., um, so literally after this, I'm going to edit it and record it and post it because it's due today. As you can see, I am a procrastinator, <sighs> but you know what? It's still early. We can still get this done. So let me tell you what this whole podcast is entitled to do, not only for me, but I hope for <clears throat> you as well. So personal growth is all about, uh, us as human beings, we all personally want to grow in something. We all have a need to do something in life, whether it's sports, career, uh, relationship, anything, anything that you can think of. We all want to do something. Um, if you don't do nothing, then you're basically dead or I don't know. But that's the whole essence. We all want to do something, but we want to grow and exceed and excel at a higher level that than we were before, than we were before um, 2019. You know, each and every year we want to grow. So we're going to be talking about different topics. Like I said, we all have different uh, goals in mind. But for starters, for this first episode, I'm going to be talking about some of mine. And hopefully in the future, I can get some of you guys involved in the podcast. We can have a one-on-one -on -one conversation and simply, I think podcast in general, uh, this is how I think podcast uh, seems to me. I think just the art of conversating, as we all do as human beings, whether it's uh, going out for a coffee or a beer or dinner, conversating is like the best therapeutic uh, way and most simplest way to effectively uh, talk and put things into existence as they say you know if you want if you have a goal in mind it's so easy to just think about it right and then the second step would be to talk about it discuss it <sighs> holy shit i'm running out of breath yeah the second step would be to talk about it the third step would then be to take action and you know the fourth step would be to hopefully uh, achieve it in the end and so I'm taking that stage two because I don't know about you, but I am a very, um, how would you say, uh, like I can, like I, I almost talk to myself more than I talk to people in my head and I'm not crazy, but you know, I think most of us tend to do that a lot. And whenever, you know, we have ideas in our head, uh, sometimes we don't have people to, uh, share it with and so the idea just you know just goes out the window and never we never think of it of it again until maybe another time when the conversation is about that topic and you sort of remember your idea again <laughs> and i think for me personally this podcast is going to allow me to think talk and plan the things and just kind of dive um more into, you know, taking action and how about to take action on those goals. So, for example, uh, let's talk fit fitness. I, I'm i actually going to the, to the gym after this, and I'm also having a good, healthy meal right now. Let's see, is it focusing? It's like rice, veggies, and avocado. And but <laughs> let me not, what's that was saying? Um, don't let myself 
for you because <clears throat> after this, before uh, I poured myself this, you know, healthy plate, I had it in bread and this chocolate, uh, hot chocolate thing, which is which is kind of like, you know, uh, a not so good healthy component versus what I have here. And I don't hate myself for eating it, but I do kind of regret it now because, you know, that's just extra calories that I have to burn at the gym. And yeah, let's dive into the topic of fitness. Because I feel like I was renting too too much off. Um, yeah, let's. Where am I going with this? Oh yeah. So in this podcast, we're gonna like I said, we're gonna be talking about personal growth, uh, things that we have as humans, and fitness so happens to be one of the, one of uh, a part of my life and a, and something in which, I wish to grow personally so let me give you a history of you know my fitness history i guess you would say um i'm a very good eater like i can devour that plate that i just showed you within like two minutes and like i'm not even kidding and but for the sake of this podcast you know i'm gonna continue talking i am an extremely good eater um, I just started my, you know, healthy eating um, ideas that I have in mind, ideas, my my plans that I have in mind, you know, to eat less uh, portion because there could be healthy food like rice, veggies and avocado. I, I love healthy food. Um, you know, it's not that big of like, Ugh, like I don't want to sell it. I could eat it, but my problem is that I'm I'm such a good eater that I, I get uh, large portions of it, and it's you know it's basically just adding more c- uh, calories. So even if you give me um, healthy food, I still can like just almost you know it's it's the same thing. I get large portions of it, which is as, as almost as if I would be eating unhealthy. <clears throat> Did I rumble? I think I um so yeah that's but let me tell you my workouts are good they're i think um for my workouts i think they're very intensive i love doing lots of intensive adrenaline uh like workouts like cardio jump roping swimming um you know a lot of uh shadow boxing and i'm kind of sad that my jump rope broke wouldn't break kind of like the piece i would jump up in the concrete and the cement and the the string got like ripped apart scraped too much and it ripped off so i'm kind of sad that i don't have a jump rope no more but i'm hoping to get a new one soon besides that um yeah like i said my workouts are good i tend to go for an hour or two Whenever I'm in a good mood and it's just, you know, like, I'm just feeling it. I go for two hours and I don't let my body cool down. I tend to keep moving because, excuse me, um, yeah, I don't let my body wo- cool down. I think once I let my body cool down, I tend to start getting lazy, like yawning um, and keeping my body warm just helps me. Helps keep the momentum and rhythm going, you know? So, like I said, my workouts are good. The thing that I lack on is, again, my diet. Um, It's very bad. So, hopefully, this is my plan. Like I said, I pour in huge portions of whatever the food is. So, my plan is to reduce it by, um, let's say I, because I usually eat like eight tacos, Whenever my mom makes tacos, I usually eat like eight. And I tend to always, you know, allow myself to get full. And that's when my mind says, okay, you got to stop. And that's when I stop. Um, So instead of eight, we're going to reduce it to two tacos less. And these are going to be little baby steps that 
I think are better off than just telling someone to, you know, completely don't eat tacos. You know, maybe for the first week, starting, you know, today, and at the end of the week, you can only eat. If it's tacos, eat two less tacos. And then if it's if it's rice and uh, veggies, reduce the the portion by like twenty percent. See what I mean? I think that's what I'm gonna do. Um, drink more water. Um, drinking water has been very natural and uh, just easy to me. I love water. <laughs> like I consume a lot of it. I actually have. You see, I've been eating some good amount of water, and I'm also into tea. Got my tea right here. So I love water. I love um, drinking healthy drinks. I actually don't eat soda at all. So that's good. Um, I left soda like about two or three years ago. And I think it started when I was in back in high school. Uh, I was doing cross country. And let me tell you, I was by far like that was my most healthiest body I've ever uh, accomplished. And at that time, literally once like I had like almost getting my abs, you know, I was like, I started to see a little ab going on and I just got so excited. I felt like I was on top of the world. I just felt so good um, mentally, physically. It was it was all good times. And then when I went to Fresno, as you say, uh, f freshman 15, and yes, it did eventually end up happening. So and not only that, but I hated school and you know, that my poor eating habits came back. I didn't have a purpose to go run or work out. Uh, I wasn't involved. It was just a terrible time, and I gained so much weight. And, you know, I'm, it's 2020, and I'm 22 years old. 21, actually. Going to 22 in May. And I just hope to, um, this year, really grind it out and just have a good... Um, image body that I enjoy, um, you know, looking at myself in the mirror and saying, damn, you know, I feel good. Um, I look good for myself, not for others. And, you know, it's just, it's a good, I think being healthy is super important. Um, I don't deny that, but we're all humans and, you know, the, the temptations and, <sighs> And the delicious, greasy foods just get us sometimes. Most of the times, I would say. But this year, I'm going to tend to lower the portions. And then the next month, lower the portions even more. And then hopefully, I eliminate it. And then hopefully, you know, within the next uh, three months, I can maybe start meal prepping, uh, be more organized with my meals. But for now, I think that would be a good I advise to myself to lower the portions. And actually, let me let me show you um, let me show you why uh, I'm like I like fitness discipline because, like I said, I have amazing workouts, but because I eat large portions, it's as if I didn't do workouts, and I hate that because my legs are super toned. You know, for, they kind of stayed from running. You know, they're super muscular, very toned. Uh, my arms are, you know, not the best shape. Like I said, all that fat that I consume and just shitty food that I consume goes into my arms. And most of it tends to go to my belly, which uh, I'm not happy about. But I also don't hate myself. You know, I'm not that type of person that... Um, just dreads and hates on uh, on yourself too much just because I don't think that's healthy uh, for the mind. You know, you just got to face it that, you know, you're in a position, but you can improve upon it. And let me show you guys my belly, uh, which I'm not happy about. But like I said, hopefully these small portions can reduce that. You see, it's very... It's all belly fat. Um, yeah. And then my muscles, you know, got a good tricep going. But I wish it was more toned. 
I just feel I just feel very heavy and bulky, um, and that's not my style of body that I like. That in which I feel good. You know, I really want to feel like less fat, less heavy. Um, yeah, that's what I'm striving for this 2020 year. Um, what else can I say? Uh, I don't know. Comment down below any. Uh, maybe if you guys have some before and after images of your guys' improvements and, you know, living healthy and eating healthy and just the progress that maybe you guys are on. Um, I would love to, I would love to see it that most definitely, um, it could give me some inspiration for myself. Um, just cause sometimes I do <clears throat> regret not going to the gym when I said to, and I miss my deadlines. It gets hard, but Seeing your guys' progress and those, because I see it on Twitter, on social media all the time, where like they make a huge progress, where like they're super chunky, and then next thing you know, they have abs. It's like, oh my God, like I can't imagine how much they, how proud they must feel for themselves, you know? Excuse me. So yeah, that's, that's one concept, fitness. I'm not really good at it, but. Hopefully, talking about it can put those goals into existence. And uh, here, let me get a drink of tea. If you guys are wondering what type of tea this is, is Yogi Green Tea. And uh, my dumbass didn't know. Um, I think it was like this year. No, last year. Like in. December of 2019 and I didn't know that green tea had caffeine in it uh maybe not all but but I didn't know in general that you know green tea could have caffeine or it does I didn't know that like like I don't I don't know I just yeah yeah I, I don't know I didn't know that um uh, I thought I really thought the only thing and there was a time when I used to think that only coffee had caffeine. So. But you know what? Now I know. And. Yeah. Uh, what do you. Yo. I love jump roping. Um, I'm curious to know what your guys' uh, workouts are. If. Like maybe I could try something that. You, you know. Some workout plans that you guys have. Um, going on. God damn it, who keeps texting me? Oh. My client students. Um yeah. Um yeah, I don't know what to talk about. Uh like I said, hopefully I get a good setting because this feels kind of weird and the lighting is kind of weird. And I'm also using my webcam, which isn't the highest of quality. Um Usually my brother has this one. He likes to stream a lot of Fortnite. So he tends to always have this. And I'm just trying to get my good quality camera to function with my microphone. Um, so I got to get that figured out. Also, I got a zit going on. I don't know. I'm not that type of person that like really cares if I have like pimples or zits. Like I just... I'm the type of person that pops them. I love popping them. But I also don't really mind it. Um, it's just whatever. Uh, also, guys, I have a clothing collection going on. And I think in the next podcast, I'm going to show you guys uh, at least one of the designs. And just, you know, um, let me know what you guys think. It's actually pretty dope. I'm uh, having so much fun designing shirts. Uh, since I have so much, you know, since I know how to design, um, you know, like I, I'm not the best at design, you know, like designing logos, designing, uh, sure. It's just, a, just designing a poster. Um, I'm not the best at it, but I definitely do have fun with it and doing my own unique style on it. And it's just an imprint on a t-shirt. It's so dope. And why not wear my own style of shirts, you know? 
Um, but yeah, I don't know. I think for this, I think that should be good for this first podcast. Oh, um, since this is going to be uploaded on YouTube, I think it would only be best to let you guys know a little bit about myself. My name is Seraphim Mendoza, legally named that, but I don't know why. I think it started in high school. Everybody started calling me Surf. So now um, I guess my social media name is Surf. And since I'm curious about so many things in life, like I am that type of like philosophical mind headed dude. I just so curious about everything in life, uh, how it started, history, everything. Um, and I'm not the smartest, but I can dive into it and, uh, I want to meet smart people who know about certain things that I don't know. So, I don't know, super cool stuff out there. Supernatural shit. I don't know if you guys believe in ghosts, but I definitely do. Uh, just because I had a story that maybe we could save Scary Stories podcast uh, for another day. But that shit was, it, it freaked me out. Um, Let's see. So I have shirt designs. I'm also taking guitar lessons, which I have a lesson today, actually, at 4.30. Um, that's going good. Uh, my mentor is super cool. And, yeah, we're. I've been taking guitar lessons for, like, five months, once every week. So, you know, it's not moving as fast as I would like to just because I'm focused on YouTube content and guitar and stocks and just a lot of stuff and I'm figuring everything out so actually I'm gonna take a bite of this hmm. I think I'm gonna do a two hour workout today for sure oh let me tell you when I'm jump roping Time goes by so fast. Um, jump roping is just, for me, a better way of running. Just because jump roping is, to me, more fun. Because, like, you know, you could cha change up your rhythm from fast to slow. And you're in control. And you could do some super cool tricks. You look cool. I think jump roping looks really dope. Uh, I love when jump, uh, boxers do it so smoothly. Um, it's cool. Um, and I'm still learning s all these sorts of new tricks. Yeah, um, man, hopefully I get a jump from soon. Um, yeah, I'm 22 years old. Uh, I mean, my life's pretty cool, I think. I go to work whenever I want. Um, I work in the fields, actually. And if you don't know what the fields are, um, I pick oranges. If you see an orange, if you see an orange field, lots of oranges. I picked those oranges, basically. Um, I'm a proud... Uh, I love Mexican culture. It's uh, It just sucks I can't go to, you know, uh, visit my family over in Mexico. Um, I'm a proud, proud DACA member. Um, hopefully one day I get to go. And, you know, the U.S. is pretty cool, too, though, because uh, I just think... The freedom that we have here is uh, something different, and it provides lots of opportunity if you work for it. I forgot the saying that John F. Kennedy said. Um, I forgot what it was, but, you know, there's downsides and ups to every society um, system that there is on Earth. There's no good or better one. There's ups and bads, but then there are worse and less worse ones. I don't know. It's a crazy world out there. And I'm up for the discussion, you know. Also, um, I got these sound panels. I don't know if they reduce the sound. Hopefully they did. They did. Um, other than that, guys, I think I'm really just ranting off uh, different things. And I talked a lot. Um, hopefully on the next episode, 
um, I can have a strategic strategic plan as to, you know, the whole concept and purpose of the video, whether it's stocks, um, uh, fashion, photography, you know, music, guitar, all these things that I'm trying to personally improve and grow upon, um, you know, because this video just really was all over the place. Uh, besides, you know, fitness, I think I'll probably title it fitness. Um, so now you guys know a little bit about myself, uh, where I am at physically, physiologically, you know, my body and how I'm trying to get fit. And hopefully you guys feel the same way, how hard it is. Um, but, you know, let's make those baby steps and promise that we can, you know, um, achieve those goals that we have set in mind. We just got to talk it, uh, think it first, talk it, and then take action. And actually, I think I'm doing those three exact things. So that's cool for me. And I hope to motivate you guys to do the same. Don't care about what anything, anybody thinks. And keep the grind going. So with that being said, thank you guys so much for watching the first episode of Personal Growth. Catch you guys on the next video. Peace.